Well, this is a pretty important day. This will be the uh, last day of our first leg. It'll be 205 kilometres. Um, and it's sorted us out a bit, mostly the gear. Everything's, we've only got half the rubbish we put in there in the first instance. We haven't thrown it out, but reorganised it. It's, you know, one of the things I just can't stress enough is just what a beautiful experience. I love, I spend most of my life in retirement driving down a road and having this magnificent TV screen or you know live screen of Australia as I go past and it's just fantastic so going places has, has been wonderful it's all part of the journey but this river I mean it's wide angle all the time and at a pace you could just suck everything in um, and the pace isn't too shabby we've been averaging about what seven and a half kilometers an hour Ted yeah. and it's just been just superb it really has been um, in this last uh, section yesterday, um, I think we saw a few pigs yesterday morning. I might have that messed up. Doesn't matter. Goats all the way. Uh, lots of ducks. Uh, we've seen all the sorts of water birds. We've seen the first cormorants this morning. We've seen herons. We've seen ibises. Obviously the pelicans, uh, and uh, quite a few of the raptors. Which at the moment, um, uh, we sort of think a harrier goshawk sort of sort of size but we'll have to go and get, identify them I don't jerry the birds in this particular part of the world but these trees that you go past all the time really they're the most amazing shapes and entanglements and you can see how some of them aren't living there's all of the absolutely all of the mud is gone and they're standing on this sort of bunch of roots sort of waiting till the next refresh but it has been um, I think a great piece bit of water for the river um, we've gone past uh, many of the irrigators. I haven't seen many of the pumps on. I think they would have probably pumped and filled up in May. But the river's still running really well, and I know that this sort of recovery will really bode well for the river in the future. Lovely place to camp last night. I said, Ted, let's go and have the campfire on the river. And we have, it's just literally on the river, uh, right on the river's edge. It was a great night, very cold last night. So we're gonna get up a bit earlier and try to beat the dew and the and the wetness on all the tents, uh, so we've had a oh, bit of a dry out. Oh, almost the... literally on the, on the river, obviously, to be on the river, it would have been a bit wet. Yeah. But uh, so we're yeah. at 179k here, 26 to go to Burke. So we've been hooting along, we're a day ahead of schedule, which is which is pretty good. For me, yesterday was the first time we, we got to see some rocks, so the highlight of the bloody trip for me, you know, and, and there was this little shortcut which in really, really high water probably had water flowing through it well it had some water flowing through it and we got to a little bunch of rocks and just wasn't quite deep enough to go through you know if, if it had been another inch or so on it we probably would have had a go at it and probably tipped the canoe and everything would have got wet but the thing is but, mate there has been a lot of but, a lot of shortcuts that have been successful yeah yeah this one wasn't we had to turn around but Ted still wouldn't let me get out and have a look at the bloody rocks. I don't no, know what they no. are. But I, For they, geologists, rocks are barred. But they look like uh, they look like they're uh, volcanics of one sort or another. So I'll have to have a look at the maps and have a look what they are. But uh, that was pretty exciting to get some get some nice rocks. Clearly, you know, it's the last stretch today before Burke, and uh, it's a Saturday, I think. So that means that we may get some power boats going past and all sorts of back into human civilization, which would be a bit of a shame, but a good chance to to refresh it up. Get a few rums under us, mate. Yeah, I could do with, uh, do with a, a shower and a beer, that's for sure. So, someone who's excited by granite obviously needs it wasn't a few granite, rums. It was volcanics. There you go. That's what I'm talking about.